all the trees in the kingdom of the plants, there's one that stands out from all the rest. In some parts of the world, this tree is venerated, even worshipped as deity. In other parts of the world, it is seen as a natural jungle gym just waiting to be explored. It is the home of many birds, a shade for weary travelers, and a natural playground for the children of men. Of all the trees on God's green earth, the mighty banyan is definitely one of my favorites. Now there are several things that make this tree truly unique. The bold banyan begins its life by growing off of and deriving nutrients from another tree. This tree is called the host tree. The mighty banyan sends down roots from its branches all around the host tree. Over time, it completely overtakes the territory of the host tree and cuts off its supply of sunlight. It's like the banyan completely swallows up the host tree and the host tree forever becomes a part of the banyan. Once the roots of the banyan hit the soil and become well grounded, it then grows into strong trunk-like structures that support the quickly extending branches of the banyan, thus enabling the branches to spread out far and wide. It looks like a large system of multiple interlocking trees, and yet it is only one singular tree. As I walked under the shade of the mighty banyan and climbed upon its sturdy branches, I couldn't help but think of the many spiritual lessons this tree teaches us. You see, the banyan is able to live because of the host tree that gave up its life. And just as the host tree died so that the banyan tree might live, so too there is one that died so that we might live forever. Jesus died on the tree of the cross so that we might have life everlasting. But the banyan tree takes away life only to give it back in rich fruit. So too we derive our life from our Creator that we might share it with those around us. And once we are rooted and grounded in Christ, we're then called to bear the fruit of the Spirit to the glory and the honor of His name. The unique root system of the banyan tree is also a reminder to us of the ultimate root, Jesus. The book of Revelation calls Him the root of David, the bright and morning star. Although the root is the most unsightly part of the plant, it is also the most powerful. It not only sustains life by bringing nutrients to the branches and leaves of the tree, but it also holds up the massive weight of the tree. Massive rocks and concrete slabs are torn apart by the noiseless power of the root. Hidden beneath the soil, its power is mighty. And so too, the power of the root of David, hidden in the heart, can break the strongest bands of sin. It is the root of David, Jesus Christ, that gives us life and holds us up as trees of righteousness. Like tree roots, he's not always seen or noticed, but surely he is there. And by the power of that divine root, we shall be able to withstand all the storms of the enemy. For the Bible says that the root of the righteous shall not be moved. So today I encourage you, let Christ be the root and foundation of your life. And as you do, you will become a fruit-bearing shelter in this unsafe and starving world. A strong, solid, sturdy, and stable sanctuary of refuge for others. And with strong roots and sweet fruits, you will be just like Jesus, who sent his roots down from heaven to earth, that we might be forever connected, just like a heavenly banyan tree, to our wonderful God above. We hope you've been blessed and inspired by this new Reflections of Hope episode. This episode is one of many that's been produced all over the world. If you haven't done so yet, please give our video a like, share it with your friends, and please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you'd like to see more inspiring episodes and get access to much more uplifting content, please go now to patreon.com forward slash revelation of hope and sign up to be a member of our Patreon page. Your monthly support will not only give you early access to many more inspiring videos, but it will also enable us to continue to produce more of these cinematic object lessons from nature. Our goal is to produce and release these episodes much more frequently. So please prayerfully consider partnering with us so that we may continue to share the hope of Jesus all over the world. Thank you so much for your support. Aloha and Maranatha.